Hello guys, this is third video of Cake PHP tutorial for beginner series from wingnity.com. In this video, we are going to learn how to run Cake PHP via command line console. In short, we call it CLI. This video explains how to set up the Cake PHP command line console for Windows machine running XM. Also, the instruction would be pretty similar for other Windows OS versions such as 7, 8, Vista and XP. So as in the previous videos, we have successfully installed Cake PHP, created database and uh, set up the database configuration for Cake PHP and uh, we have already applied the new salt and cipher seed values correctly. If you not then uh, you should uh, go and watch the first two videos of this series so you will have uh, that information with you so first we need to uh, set up uh, the environment variable so that the windows can run the cake from the command console so first of all just go to your start program click on computer right click on it and just say properties so you will be brought to the control panels uh, system window you will need to change your environment variable under advanced system settings which you can select from the left uh, column menu in this window and uh, select the advanced tab on the system properties window and click on the environment variables button in the system variable box find the path variable and click edit in case you are unable to find the path variable or uh, you are just going to create it first time then you can do one more thing you can just say new and just create your path variable with the help of this so right now I am just having the path variable already so I'll just go to edit button and if there isn't one uh, already then add a semicolon to the end of the current path variable a semicolon is used to separate the variable yes your path variable so whenever you are going to use a different kind of variable over here you have to make them separate with the help of a semicolon just go to end and put a semicolon over here now you are good to just insert your environmental variable over here and uh, it should be separated by a semicolon here we need to add three variables first is for command console second is for your PHP folder and the third is for my SQL folder so let us let's start uh, with the command console first First, open your web root. I have this, and then just uh, go to your project. Let's move to app and say this console. So you find the cake over here. So just copy this, and let's go back to your variable value. Just put it over here and put a semicolon once again guys Wignity user is a folder uh, cake PHP folder uh, that's my project folder okay so you have to just uh, take uh, the cake PHP console path from this folder and uh, for the PHP let's move to HT docs and uh, then we have uh, let's move to XM and then we have a PHP over here so make sure you have the PHP application exit so just copy this one and uh, just go to your prompt and just say control V put a semicolon same we have to just apply for this MySQL just uh, go to bin and make sure you have an application for MySQL over here so just copy this one and put it over here 
and say OK. Or uh, you can also just put a semicolon after uh, this last path and say OK. Say OK. And say OK. Close this window. Guys, I am using uh, XAMPP over here. So, in case uh, you are uh, working on VAMP, then uh, the VAMP user, uh, so you need to go to your VAMP folder and then locate the bin folder to get your PHP and MySQL folder path. So, as you know that we have already just uh, set up all the environmental variables in Windows environment. Let's close this window and let's test the water that we have uh, applied the settings or not. Just go to your run and just type cmd or command. Click on command and execute the DOS front. Now type cake to check all the things are working correctly and press enter so you can see uh, the console is working fine so <laughs> that's all for setting up the environment variable for cake php on your local machine we hope you have enjoyed this video once again uh, so kindly like this video post your comments and share it on your social networks Thank you and stay connected to Wingnity YouTube channel for more Cake PHP tutorials.